Hi friends, welcome back to the channel, Sidekick Guru. In this video, I'm going to uh, do the speed test and the RAM management test comparison between the MI 11X versus the Realme X1 Max device. And during this time, I'll try to use the applications and the combination of games as well. Let's see which phone can actually open them faster and which phone can actually store this many applications and games in the background RAM management. That's what I'm going to exactly demonstrate in this video. The Snapdragon 870 is present in the MI Linux device and Dimensity 1200 is present in the Realme X1 Max. So first thing I need to show you exactly what is a Wi-Fi connection I've connected in both phones so here's a quick look at the Wi-Fi connection I did connect to the 2.4 gigahertz itself in both phones you can clearly see here so 2.4 gigahertz I connected and one more thing I need to clear the process manager in the realme x and max so which is available in the additional settings and uh, yes I need to clear everything from the cache data as well I, I'll try to use the high performance mode during this process of demonstration with the speed test so because high performance mode sometimes it definitely boosts up a lot of uh, opening speeds of the applicants and games as well so if you want, I can disable the high performance mode as well for the next video. But right now, I'm trying to use the high performance mode. And these games, I did keep in random. You can see the four games which are in the first row, second row and third row. There are two games. Exactly. And before starting the test, you should know there's no applicants running in the background RAM management. And you can clearly see RAM availability in both phones, how much it is. Clearly, it's visible. So right now, let's get started, friends, without wasting any time. So let's see first application Google Chrome, which phone can actually open the Google Chrome application faster. So one, two, and three. And slightly the Realme X and Max did open just a little bit faster, not bad. And next is the uh, touch sampling rate application. The main reason why I did include this touch sampling rate application is because this is a very good test in terms of the RAM management. I'm trying to keep this in the background RAM management only. That's the reason I did include the touch sampling rate. So once we open all the applications and all the games, then again, we need to check the RAM management, whether which phone can actually have those lines in the background. That's what my main mo motive of making this video. Instagram, not an issue. Next is a game. Let's see the game one, two, and three. Let's see this game, which phone uh, can open. I think the slightly the Realme X and Max it open faster. As I said, if you use the high performance mode, the Realme X and Max is really good in terms of the opening speeds. It can actually open pretty faster. And I'm trying to keep this in the background RAM management. You can see the loading speed. The MRX did load slightly faster. And uh, YouTube application, not bad. So Realme X and Max was able to open slightly faster in terms of the opening the YouTube application. Next is a Battlegrounds mobile game. One, two, and three. So both phones showed the logo at same time. And let's see the Battlegrounds mobile game starting page first it came in the MNX device and then in the Realme X and Max so this test includes two different processes first is speed test MNX did open the Badgerons mobile game slightly faster than the Realme X and Max first is a speed test and next is a RAM management test so we need to see in the RAM management which phone can actually win I'm trying to keep this in the background RAM management you can see how the loading speed is in both phones and uh, I'm trying to keep the calculator in the background RAM management and next is a Facebook. So this is a kind of combination. I did not include all the games. I did not include all the applications. So it is a good example in the day to day life. If you try to use this many applications and this many games, which phone will be able to handle this many in the background? No, not bad. And a speed test application, both phones did show. And let's do the speed test as well at same time. I'm trying to keep this in the background RAM management only friends. I'm not going to judge any kind of Wi-Fi speeds or nothing at all. So doing it same time definitely we can expect the speed will be divided. But you can see both phones are like increasing and decreasing at same time. And upload speed started first in the Realme X and Max. And let's see which phone will be able to finish the speed test first. I'll definitely try to do this kind of com speed test comparison with other phones as well. So make sure to stay tuned by subscribing. So in case if you want me to do any other videos, let me know in the comment section below on what phones you want me to compare. So right now I'll try to keep this in the background RAM management. Next is a uh, prime videos. Not bad. Final game is a temple run. Temple run game slightly. So overall in the speed test, both phones are slightly kind of equal. Sometimes the real max and max did open. Sometimes the MLX did open. So there's nothing much huge difference between the RAM, I mean speed test between these both phones. Now, the final task is to check the RAM management, friends. That's going to be really very, very, very uh, important thing in terms of having to know which phone can actually store this many applications and game in the background. So usually my process is that I need to open all the games and applications from the backward, okay? Every time I, 
I will try to do it in this way only. Let's check what is happening with the applicants and games. How many can be in the background RAM management? Till now, not an issue. Five up. First row, last row is finished, and now we are entering into the middle middle row as well. Till now, I did not see any kind of loading speed or any kind of nothing at all. They are opening instant in both phones. Perfect. Let's open the Flipkart. One, two, three. Not bad. So till Flipkart, not an issue. But the real question is that this Badwinds mobile game can it be there in the background management or not? So for that, I'll try to do one thing. I'll try to open from the multitasking so you can actually see the game. You can see the game right here, which is visible for you. One, two, and three. Sorry, I did not click the MRX device. So both phones did keep the Badwinds mobile game in the background RAM management. Not bad. That's kind of good. Let's check the YouTube application. So YouTube is here. So YouTube should not get reloaded because I did open my page in the Realme X and Max, and this is the home page in the MRX device. Let's see, it should not reload. It should show exact same image. Same image it did show in the MRX device in the Realme X and Max. The image got reloaded in the Realme X and Max. And next thing, I think the Realme X and Max stopped exactly by the mobile game. It did not open uh, more than that. And next, check about another application, Amazon application. So, yep, it's Amazon application. You can see the iPhone 11 in the background RAM management. Now let's see which phone can actually keep the iPhone 11 in the background RAM management. One, two, and three. Boom. The MLX was able to keep in the background RAM management. So the MLX RAM management slightly got improved after the recent MIUI 12.5 enhanced update. Before it used to not perform like this after the update only the phone was able to perform as you can see the live proof what is happening i'm trying to show you from the background uh, multitasking only because you should know in front of the camera what is happening here let's try again this is uh, a stack ball one two three it was in the background ram management perfect so overall the mlx has got slightly advantage in the background ram management in the instagram both phones and this touch sampling rate as i said this very very important test you can see the lines so let's see which phone can actually store these lines in the background and this is going to be interesting one two and three boom there is no lines in the real max and max but there are lines in the mlx device Th that means the phone was able to keep as many as applications in the background ram management in the mlx device that's kind of possible so this is one thing which i thought of confirming and google chrome did open slightly faster in the mlx device so overall in the speed test both are equal but ram management the mi linux did beat the realme x1 max in this test so the realme x1 max stopped exactly around badwinds mobile game only if you don't believe me what i'll try to do because realme x1 max did open all these games and applications right now i'll try to show you the one more thing which is extreme level now i'm trying to go back to again okay this game won't be there in the background ram management in the ml realme x1 max these are realme x1 max you can see 8 GB RAM variant and I did enable high performance mode and uh, external rank capabilities as you, as you can see friends so Realme X and Max is not there ML11X was able to store all these applications and games in the background RAM management instant this has happened only after the recent MIUI enhanced update only that is what I am trying to mention only after the MIUI enhanced update only it was able to keep all this so now try to observe the Realme X and Max what is happening in terms of the few games will not be as open as you can see friends this is a quick comparison between both phones and overall the mlx was able to perform slightly better in the ram management and speed test kind of both are equal thank you for watching and see in the next video until i start for more updates in case if you have any other queries let me know in the comment section below meanwhile signing off bye